Hey there, Joey from PowerhouseAffiliate.com. Welcome to part five of the Google Ads $1,000 a day series. And today we're gonna to be talking about campaign setup, how to set up your Google Ads campaign, some of the things to consider when running this type of campaign where we are collecting leads first. In the last videos, we talked about tracking, we talked about landing pages, how to find keywords, all of those things. Now we are getting into the nitty gritty. We're setting up the campaign itself so that we can start getting traffic to our landing pages. So if you haven't seen all the other videos, make sure you subscribe and check out the playlist. Now let's get started so I'm not wasting any more time. Let's go into my computer and we're gonna be using CPV Lab Pro as I mentioned in the last videos. And it's important that you have a tracker set up for this that allows for parallel tracking because Google only allows parallel tracking and all of that is covered in other trainings on this channel and in the links down below and through CPV Lab Pro. So I'm not gonna explain all that, but basically this is what you'll see when you log into CPV Lab Pro. What we're doing now is a landing page sequence campaign. If you go to CPV Lab Pro, you can see that they have it all described on how to set this up. I've gone ahead and set up this landing page sequence campaign in there already for this landing page right here. And basically, I'm gonna be collecting a lead myself and using Aweber, and then we're going to be sending that person to the offer itself from ClickBank after they've entered their email. So you'll see now that when people come to my landing page and they click on this, they're going to be brought up a form here where I've entered a, a fake email address here. And you'll see now if they enter an email address and click watch presentation, it's going to send them to the ClickBank affiliate offer and that's where you try and make the money from your affiliate commissions right after they've entered their email. And now that you have the email, you can follow up with other emails about this product or other back pain solutions or other ways to alleviate whatever kind of stress and pain they have um, that you can offer through your own blog or whatever it is. So basically this is the strategy and it is all set up and ready to go. Now it's a matter of getting traffic. So let's go to Google Ads now and set up our campaign and talk about some of the settings we need to consider. So here we are inside Google Ads and I've clicked on create new campaign and what we're going to be going for is sales. Even though in the previous videos in this series, I talked about setting up a, an extra conversion goal, which is to collect leads, we also have to make sure that our main goal here is in fact earning money. So I'm gonna be going for sales, but we will also be optimizing for both submit lead forms and purchases when we're doing this campaign setup. And I'm gonna click continue here and basically we're only going to select search for now. There are of course other options here that I won't discuss today, but be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see other videos when I dive into other topics because I am pretty much all over the place when it comes to running ads online. I run everything from native ads to YouTube video ads, everything, even Facebook ads, search ads. So I'm pretty multifaceted on this channel. So make sure that you do subscribe if online media buying is something that you're interested in. So here we are, select the ways you'd like to reach your goal. We're gonna select website visits here and I will paste in my landing page URL here. This is an example just for this uh, video. So I don't mind sharing the domain name here because really I'm not gonna be running this publicly. I just wanted to show this as an example. And now we'll come down and we will name this campaign. Next, we need to talk about bidding. I cover this in more detail through the training at powerhousephilia.com and on the forum, we talk about it a lot, but basically I'll give a quick breakdown of what I do right now when I'm starting. First of all, Google Ads has no way of knowing any conversion data at this point for this type of campaign because it is a fresh it's a new test that i'm running for back pain so really it has no conversion data meaning i won't really benefit right away with a conversions strategy now there are people that would argue you should just target for conversions and go after it yes i would agree as well that you could test that but in my opinion i like to start with clicks to get myself enough conversions. And then after that, I will test and implement experiments or new campaigns where I will now target, uh, use automated bidding strategies. Right now, I'm gonna try and get clicks to my landing page so that people will start 
filling in the form and submitting their email and then potentially signing up through ClickBank and me earning commissions, all of that will start to track into Google where they'll get you know 20 to 30 conversions showing. And at that point I can say, well, maybe I will now automate to a targeted bidding strategy or in this case where I'm collecting a lead and also earning revenue, I might want to in fact do a target return on ad spend bidding strategy because really I want to focus on the people that will buy the back pain breakthrough through the ClickBank offer. Those are things to consider when we're doing bidding, but for now we are going to select just the clicks and we can set a maximum cost per click, um, but right now it is at a maximize clicks strategy. So basically it's gonna try and get me as many clicks as possible. So here it's very important that we select good keywords in the next step. So I'm just gonna set it for clicks for now and I can come back and all, uh, I can always change these settings later. Here, let's choose a network and we will go with just the Google search partners. We're gonna turn off display network and that way we don't waste a bunch of money on traffic that won't convert. And we will select Canada. Make sure you switch your location option here to people in or regularly in your targeted location. I'm gonna turn off English because I find the more broad I go at this point, the less I'm spending. I'm going to leave audience segments for now and I won't describe that just to save time in this video. Automatically created assets I will leave off and more settings I need to make sure I set up my campaign URL options to make sure it sends data into CPV Lab Pro. Again, all of that described in CPV Lab Pro documentation. I will just quickly enter it here. And there we go. And then more settings. I'm also going to turn off ad rotation so that I can optimize my ads myself and not let Google choose. And that is it for this part. Now we need to make sure we choose the right keywords. We talked about that in previous videos. So make sure if you haven't watched those videos, you go back and watch it. But basically we're only gonna go for some very specific ones right now. I will take some of these out. And we do have a list that we created using SEM Rush before, so we don't really have to go through this step if we don't want to, but I'm just gonna use what Google has here for now. And that should be enough. I'm just gonna go with uh, maybe 10 to 20 keywords. For now, I'll just go with what's here, because if we're using a broad match strategy, which we will be doing here, um, we don't really need a whole bunch of keywords because Google will find this and they will just look at the context of those keywords and understand that we're going for people that have back pain in general. So no matter what they're searching, if, they're, if it's anything related to back pain, pretty much we're going to be able to target those people with a broad match. <clears throat> Later on, if you find some keywords doing well, then you can switch to a phrase or exact match and... That is uh, a, a more advanced strategy for later. For now, we're just setting this up. Now for your ad, you wanna make sure you add all of these uh, headlines. You wanna include popular keywords, make headlines unique and make descriptions unique. And you need to get this to an average strength or better. So I'm just gonna pause the video quickly and do that here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added some headlines. And now for the descriptions, I'm going to be using chat GPT. I've gone ahead and asked them to create four Google ad descriptions for back pain breakthrough that helps people with sciatica pain and do not go over 90 characters. Now, sometimes they'll spit out some, some things here that aren't perfect, so you need to still update it. And I'm just going to do that to speed things up along here. I will take out the exclamation points and just change it to make sense with what is going on on my landing page. Of course, you can come up with your own ideas, but uh, it's nice to have a tool do this for us. Of course, I would spend more time doing this, but I'm just making a video and here we are watch free video. Okay, so you can try, of course, different descriptions. You're gonna have to test a bunch of different ads anyway, and make sure that you're doing that on a regular basis so that you can make sure you find the best performing ads. Next, you can add callouts, images, and all of that. I won't go through that right now, but you definitely should be doing that later. And you can always update and try new ads later. Next, we need to choose our budget. I like to start with a low budget when I first start out. I'm pretty conservative when it comes to starting new campaigns. I'm just gonna start at a $30 a day budget to make sure everything is tracking properly, make sure there's not any random keyword that's gonna start eating up $300 or $400 a day in spend. And then after that, I will slowly increment my budget upwards. And of course, Google is going to recommend that I spend more because remember, Google is a multi-billion dollar company that 
their main goal is to satisfy their investors. So they must get us to spend as much money as possible. So keep that in mind when you're looking at your optimization recommendations from Google. Don't just automatically assume they are correct. They are, in fact, designed to make you spend more money on their platform. So be very careful. Now it's gonna review my campaign just to make sure everything is ready to publish. Let's hope it is. If not, I'll have to make a few changes. Everything does seem to look good. Of course, they're gonna make me want to add more keywords that will make me spend more money. But for now, we are just going to leave that as is. Make sure you review everything here, then click publish campaign. Now we're gonna wait and hopefully it gets approved. And after that, we are going to then start optimizing and looking at ways we can scale this campaign. So be sure to subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and share if you enjoyed this part of the training in this series. And of course, stay tuned for the next two videos in this series and more videos coming on different traffic sources and different media buying strategies that you can watch every single week on this channel. Thanks for watching, see you next week.